All right, y'all, new map, Dur Grabbin, and this is actually by our good old buddy, Leaf Spawn. He already, you know, he makes some fire maps, and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what we can do. Uh, I have some pretty high expectations. He's only really been getting better and better. Already, I'm loving the environment so far. We've got Fighters Fizz, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, Double Tap, and then, of course, Juggernog. We also got the Car 98. There is a box location right here, but I don't see where it is. Okay, so I do see it right in there. So that debris is 2,000. So we're just going to try to clear that as fast as we can. Ooh, I love that round change music as well. All right, here we go. So here's the box, and here's Pack-A-Punch. And then to end the game is 50,000. Nice. So I feel like the first order of business is definitely going to be trying to get that MP40. That'll certainly help. Ooh, those power-up drops look awesome. So this is definitely inspired by Vanguard. There we go. We got it. Ooh, and these guns are even using the Vanguard models, which I absolutely love. I'm very thankful for that. All righty. So we're doing pretty good. So I guess the next order of business would be to save up for Juggernaut. So I guess this is going to be more of a challenge map than anything, just because of the fact that it's a tight space and it's very cramped so i'm expecting it to get pretty hard down the line otherwise you know what would be the point of the map so hopefully we do not die i will leave all of my deaths in the video if that does happen however there we go just one more kill and that's enough for jug oh i just noticed yo we actually got that superpower that's charging up so later we could press t it looks like we have the unlimited ammo ability so that's really dope my suggestion would be if there is a way possible within the map you could maybe have a system in place of spawn or something to where you could actually switch your ability and choose between all the different ones that are inside of Vanguard. That'd be really dope. Anyways, here's Juggernog. Ooh, and the bottles glow. Awesome, awesome. Juggernog, or I mean Max Ammo. Don't know why I just called it that. But yeah, we are really packing some heat and the colors of this map look can i just say this map looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's just so saturated and satisfying to look at, so. Definitely kudos for that leaf spawn. Your map looks beautiful. In fact, I would say it's probably your best looking map yet in regards of looks and aesthetic. All right, so the next order of business, I'd say, would probably be get double tap. That will certainly help me. There we go. Now I can go right here, grab that. Ooh, got my flamethrower from the enhancement mod. Don't mind if I do. Sheesh, we're just having a meltdown right here. Burn them alive. Awesome. Now we can go and grab ourselves some quick revive, which is necessary. And now I'd say the next thing we should save up for is probably speed cola. I feel like that'd be a smart decision so we could reload a little faster, if you know what I mean. And what is this muscle milk? Chain electric melee stabs. Okay, so it's like electric cherry except for knifing. That seems cool. Oh, and I I just noticed it even uses the Vanguard perk logos. So yeah, the Vanguard aesthetic is really driving this map upwards in my opinion. I really enjoy it. That's something that Leaf Spawn is known for, is Vanguard aesthetics, I feel like. Insta-kill, don't mind if I do. Get a couple knives in here. What the heck? Yo! Okay, that might be something you have to fix in the future. I just lunge knifed and went high up in the sky but i mean at least it doesn't kill you like in most maps and just as out of bounds that's something i can appreciate bro i thought i was about to fall down there take fall damage and go down i got scared for a second all right let me get speed cola although that was pretty entertaining so you might want to leave it in soda popper drink 150 colas Ooh, that's dope got myself an achievement all right let's press t there we go we got ourselves this awesome ability oh yeah look at that just infinite spray down right there. That's amazing. So now I'd say it's time for us to start hitting the box and focusing on getting some weapons, if you know what I mean, from the mystery box. Perhaps we can get a ray gun or something similar to that. My only critique would be I wish that had mule kick. That feels like a necessary perk for this map, or at least something that would make my life a little easier in regards to this map. It's like a little quality of life update. All right, here we go. So in between the round change, now we have time to hit that, see what's up. Ooh, the Thunder Gun's in there as well. And we got the Gallo. Okay, so this is mostly the OG weapons then. That's nice. I think I even saw the RPD in there. Oh, I gotta get some more ammo. There we go. Only 500, so that's good. Ooh, and this Gallo is actually really helping me out since it's a one-shot, one-kill. It's really powerful if I do say so myself. Oh my gosh. Ooh, RPD, let's go, we got it. So we're definitely gonna try to pack that as soon as we can. All right, so now we are actually on wave nine. Feels like we're on wave 20 with how these guys are coming in, but all right. Actually, let's just keep hitting the box so we're able to get both of the Wonder Weapons, the Wonder Waff and the Ray Gun. 
if it's possible. Ooh, the Thompson. Don't mind if I do. I love myself some Tommy gun action. Ooh, along with the insta kill. Okay, don't mind if I do. The HK21. Ooh, dope, dope, dope. And it looks so awesome too with the Vanguard settings on it. Double points, okay. Oh, it only lasted me one kill oh well ah i was one away from the thunder gun right there that's unfortunate i'm definitely gonna grab phd flopper so that way once i manage to grab myself the ray gun things don't get too bad for me but yeah this hk actually really puts in the work we got the bar right there which is also an og weapon i'm really loving the fact that he puts all these og weapons in the new vanguard style i really am a big fan of that i mean just look at how satisfying these guns are to use and you just the magnitude of the power we have what the teddy bear i'm pretty sure the only other box place is here though right so it doesn't really matter oh the box actually spawned over there okay so there's three box locations honestly i might keep this map this seems like it'd be really fun like you know just to chill with four players and survive definitely seems like a viable option Ooh, let's go the mg42 that's gonna be awesome that's even better than the rpd for sure i mean it's quite literally a turret so check this out guys yo that is just shredding through them okay that is amazing absolutely phenomenal if i do say so myself and then the rpd is doing really nice as well i mean just look at it it's so satisfying to watch it's just shred all these zombies Oh, what the heck? Teddy bear again? Come on now. All right, this is the last boxman of this round. Hopefully we get something good, like a wonder weapon. Nope, unfortunately we did not. <gasps> but we did just get a fire sale. Let me just go and spam this box. Come on, we're not really getting anything too good. Ooh, it's the Vanguard ray gun, I just realized. And also, yo, this, this shotgun's actually really dope. I'm glad that we got that. Okay, so our goal now is gonna be to pack a bunch of shotgun for the time being while we wait for a decent wonder weapon. You guys won't believe the power of this shotgun, bro. Like in Vanguard, it's really the only thing people would use before the ray gun was added. It just absolutely an insane beautiful weapon when it's pack a bunch you guys will see i mean even for now it's decent i mean it one shots the zombies all right round 13 that's amazing there we go we've gotten enough to pack i just gotta wait till these zombies die down a bit so i'm gonna keep shooting for the time being until we get a safe opening most likely in between our round switch or if we know that the zombies a crawler or something Ooh, let's go burn them to the ground all right this looks like it's the last guy all right pack a punch here we go throwing you this bad boy and here we go the beckoning gyrator awesome now let me hit the box with the remainder of my points so we can get ourselves a wonder weapon of some sort no we did not okay but we did get this Ooh, yeah so this is kind of like a disc weapon like a i forgot what the name of that lmg was on black ops one but it reminds me of that so i'm gonna use this for the time being as well but god just check out this amazing shotgun real fast it is honestly incredible when it comes to just laying down the zombies look at that and it's automatic as well. Like, look at this. Oh, okay. So they decided to not make it automatic this game. But you could basically spam it. So it's the same thing. And it has so much ammo. And look at the reload. It reloads multiple clips at once. I mean, this thing is just absolutely phenomenal. I'm definitely gonna put that baby in the pack again to try and dual wield pap it or double pap it or whatever you call it. Maybe try to get some dead wire or something. Dead wire, blast furnace, or thunder wall. Those are the three things I'd be okay with. All right, now we have some time in between the rounds, so we're gonna try to double pack that. Hey, thunder wall, nice. Just what I was hoping for. Ah, dang, we did not get a ray gun at it. What about this one? Ah, oh well, we'll get it eventually. Sheesh, we're just mowing down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that thunder wall certainly helps a lot too. Honestly, I'm probably gonna try to save up for some perks. If that's all right with y'all. Oh, it didn't let me grab it, but it did let me get the fighter's fizz. That's curious though. I don't know why it won't let me grab the muscle milk. All right, let me put this in the frying pot real quick. Or the pack-a-pot as someone call it. Ooh, look at this baby. That looks dope. I will give credit where it's due. Every weapon that I've packed so far seems to be very dope. And ooh, it gives it a faster rate of fire as well. <gasps> the PPSH? Ooh, okay. That's pretty dope. Ray gun, let's go! Ain't no way, bro. We actually got it. Oh my god, that's awesome. All right, let's go. Rounds flickering in between. Let me pack this. And can we double pack it? 
Yo, so we got dual wield ray guns because of the enhancement, I forgot. And we can double pack it, and it got Thunderwall. Yo, we are like all set. This is sick. Dual wield Vanguard ray guns in our hands right now, bro. Oh my gosh, this is just incredible. Yo, Thunder Gun! Let's go, we've literally got everything possible now. Now let's put this baby in the back and watch this, bro! Dual wield Zeus Cannon! Also, props to Leaf Spawn, bro. This camo is dope. I'm pretty sure it's just the Origins Pap camo, but still. So yeah, my only critique is basically I want Mule Kick and an Easter Egg would also be nice. <laughs> Maybe with a little mini boss fight, even if they just simply added like a little Panzer boss fight, that'd be cool as a mini Easter Egg. Hey, let's go. One round left, yo. Yeah. Alright, let me activate the superpower again. And watch how quickly the numbers go down, bro. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible, bro, with the infinite ammo power up. Chibi! Two zombies left. That's one, that's two. All right, y'all, and that is the end of this map. Oh my gosh, this is an incredible journey, but it's time to end the game. All right, y'all, so that game lasted around 40 minutes, so we had some really great time, but anyways, y'all, that's really gonna do it for this video. I got everything I wanted, all the wonder weapons, all the perks besides muscle, because I want to shout out me. If you guys want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And shout out to Lee Song for making this amazing map. Let me know what other maps I should do down in the comments below. And God bless y'all. Have a great day.